A 5 kilogram block slides to the bottom of a 6 meter long frictionless ramp which is at an angle of 37 degrees. So this distance here, which we've been calling D, that's 6 meters long. Here's our angle, 37 degrees. Now to find the change in gravitational potential energy, we're interested in the height difference. So right at the bottom, that's going to be our final height, HF. And up here, this is our initial height. So the gravitational potential energy will be related to this distance here, certainly not this distance. So we're going to have to find what this is equal to. So gravitational potential energy is the difference in the heights times mg. Now in this case, look at the negative sign here. What happened there? Well, hf is going to be zero and h initial is some positive value. So we'll have a negative here. Then we're going to replace delta H. This distance here is the hypotenuse times the sine of the angle that is opposite the side here. So we come up with negative MGD sine theta. We then put in our numbers that we were given and we come up with the delta GPE of negative 180 joules. Now does that make sense? It's always good to evaluate your answers. Yes, the negative sign means you lost or you transferred uh, gravitational potential energy into another form, so its change would be negative, and that makes sense. You went from a high point to a low point, so from that point of view, this is a good answer.